Greetings, Lucky Legends. Welcome to the dojo. My name is Lucky. This is Lucky Lad TV. I'm your host of this video, and it's time for our PMC Championship Team Builder. And I'm probably going to take an L. <laughs> our matchup against our opponent is absolutely horrific. Life Orb Gengar 6-0s our team. If he runs Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, Sludge Wave, and Dark Pulse, it just, it just destroys our entire team. Shadow Ball takes out Talisman, who's uh, timid. Um, Sludge Wave takes out Sylveon. Dark Pulse takes out Meloetta. He doesn't even, if he brings sub, we're in an even worse spot. If he brings sub life orb, we're screwed. Like, Gengar is such a huge problem, and anything that even has a chance of taking on Gengar gets walled by Registeel, which he also has on his team. In addition to that, he also has Megalopony, which can pretty easily wear down our team with Fake Out, and our only fighting resist is Elegance, which does not appreciate a high jump kick. And Megalopony outspeeds everything. So, bad news bears for the matchup, but I'm going to go over the team anyway. I brought a Rest Sleep Talk Scald Ice Beam Suicune. It walls things like Salamence, and it walls Megalopony pretty well. Uh, we don't get to it KO'd by anything. So that's nice. However, you know, if he's a sub megalopony, we're in a bit of a bind because Scald doesn't do that much damage. Especially if he's running, you know, investment. Then, of course, we have Malice. I'm planning on leading off with Malice because an interesting thing about this set. So we are faster than anything on his team that is capable of setting up Stealth Rocks. The fastest one being Mesprit, which hits a max speed of 145. So we can prevent rocks on our side of the field pretty safely and then hit those potential Pokemon with Earthquake, Knockoff, and get our own Stealth Rocks up. The other interesting thing is that with this Choppleberry, we are able to live a Focus Blast from Gengar. But if he brings something like... I don't know if Icy Wind will kill just because Icy Wind's not very strong attack. But if he brings, like, Energy Ball, if it gets Energy Ball, I'm pretty sure it gets Energy Ball. Or something like that, then we're screwed. Choppleberry is, like, if he brings Focus Blast, which I feel like he should, given that I don't really have any good fighting resists. My best fighting resistance is, of course, Fear, our Gorgeist. But that's weak to Shadow Ball, which is Gengar's stab, and we're not outspeeding Gengar, so... It's looking kind of hazy for that, but we can live a Focus Blast with this Choppleberry and uh, KO the Gengar with Knockoff. And of course we have our Assault Vest Meloetta. Meloetta takes hits from Gengar really well. It also takes hits from stuff like Manaphy really well. The problem is we have no... we don't hit them back very hard. I know, it says 128 base special attack, but uninvested, that's not doing that much damage. Especially when you're up against Pokemon that have good natural bulk. This set gets walled by something like Registeel with the exception of Focus Blast, but if he is running a specially defensive Registeel, it still walls us. Like, if he's running Rest, Sleep Talk, or even Rest, Chesto, and also Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave kind of ruins everything because then we get outsped by literally everything because we're slow. But Slash Shock, U-Turn, Hidden Power, Ice, and Focus Blast. Hidden Power Ice is in case I can catch the Salamence on a Switch. This is also zero. Catch the Salamence on a Switch. It does not Oko. It does a lot, but it doesn't Oko. Especially if he's running bulk. I believe after Stealth Rocks it might Oko, but... Another Salamence answer is our Curum right here. 
we can take an Outrage with the Haban Berry and then proceed to one-shot it with Ice Beam. Earth Power is for the... Earth Power is for the Registeel, but again, Spadef Registeel causes a lot of problems. Flash Cannon is for... I believe he has Aromatisse is his fairy type, I think. I'm pretty sure Aroma... No, he has Clefable. Much worse. Um, is The Flash Cannon is for Clefable, and the Draco Meteor is for stuff like Manaphy, something that we just need to hit as hard as possible. Next up, we have Talisman, our Jirachi. I changed this set last minute, and I feel like I shouldn't have changed it. I feel like I should have kept it the way that it was. Originally, I had a Choice Scarf Jirachi with Heart Stamp, Iron Head, U-Turn, and Ice Punch. And that pretty much just would go through anything on his team. We would outspeed everything except for a potential Scarf Gengar, and we would speed tie with a Scarf Salamence. Um, but even if Salamence got an Earthquake off, we do live it after Stealth Rock. It does like 80% max, I think. Unless he's running Adamant, in which case we still live it because, you know, we'd live on like 4% or something like that, but we would still live it. But... I feel like I should have kept the Scar Farachi, but for one thing, I was having a lot of trouble finding a Heart Stamp Jirachi. Um, I could have run Zen Headbutt, but I didn't want to risk a miss, and I didn't want... And, you know, Heart Stamp has a 60% chance to flinch, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, I think Zen Headbutt is 40% um, after the boost. Yeah, 40. But... I feel like that set may have worked better, but at plus one speed with the Salicberry, we will outspeed everything on his team, just like with the Scarf. And at plus one uh, with the Calm Mind, we one-shot pretty much everything on his team. And if we can't one-shot it, it's one of those Pokemon that pretty much can't touch us. If I can get rid of Registeel, I can get off... I should be able to get off this sweep. But Registeel is so hard to take down. It's so freaking fat. And then, of course, our last Mon is the exact same set we brought against the Chicago Sacred Fire in Week 5. It is our Choice Specs Sleep Talk Sylveon with Psy Shock, Hyper Voice, and Shadow Ball. He doesn't really have Hyper Voice switch-ins. Um, except for, of course, Registeel. I'm really thinking he's going to bring Spideff Registeel. It would make sense. It really does well against our team. But Spadef Registeel obviously takes any of these hits, but the reason I have Sleep Talk is because this is good sleep fodder for Amoongus because we can still fire off attacks. Um, I dumped a bunch of points into defense because I didn't. I don't really need him anywhere else. I just need enough speed to outpace the Amoongus. Everything else I just want to hit. I don't care about outspeeding other stuff. I just want to hit hard. And I want to live attacks. But that is going to be our team builder. The battle will go up tomorrow. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's very much greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm going to get about best watch out there. I will see you all soon. Goodbye.